There is a famous quote saying, "Watch your thoughts, they become your words. Watch your words, they become your actions. Watch your actions, they become your habits. Watch your habits, they become your character." It's true. Repeated actions become a part of our routine. This routine transforms into a habit, so we keep on doing it without even thinking about it. Almost like programmed robots, we can't even anticipate the danger around us. It takes one incident to give us a jolt. experiences that stay with you in that moment you think of the families that have been ruined and then you think of your family too then time passes by the whole incident is at the back of your mind old actions old habits old routine and same old robotic ways and then Then you begin to wonder how many more times does it have to happen before we realize there's no going back to normal Life saving rules at the Aditya Birla group pulp and fiber business were introduced to help us facilitate the creation of a positive safety culture and achieving our goal of zero harm 10 rules that are the lifeline of our defense to keep us safe and our colleagues following these rules has allowed us to make great improvements in safety over the years and now it's time to reiterate it but more importantly we have to be able to apply these in whatever we do whenever we do wherever we do being safe requires your commitment involvement and active participation Every employee of the organization must be aware of these life-saving rules and should ensure that they're being implied. And they should also retain that they're empowered to stop the work if it does feel unsafe. Our safety rules and procedures must be a part of our routine. And that routine must become our habit, our character. Thank you. Stop. If you see anything that's not right, We have procedures that tell us how things need to be done. We have safety policies, safety principles, and a well-defined safety management system to protect us. Above all, we have the ten life-saving rules. that keep us focused on critical hazards and prevent us from taking risks and more importantly they put a system together so that everyone understands and works safely every individual irrespective of their position or job role does not only have the authority but a mandate to intervene and stop if something does not seem right We need to follow these rules, communicate to our peers, business associates and subordinates. Remember we need to demand compliance to safety and keep the safety rules edged in our mind. Let these life-saving rules be a part of our thoughts, actions, words, habits and finally a part of our behavior. Imagine how you'd feel If you observed a loose bolt in the wheel assembly of a school bus, the school bus driver relying on the fact that he's done many trips in the past and that all inspections have been done does not bother about the safety of your child and how they travel to school. Would you allow your child to board that bus? So, it is important to have strict inspection and operational control 
and timely intervention of at-risk behaviors which causes the incidents. We need to avoid behaviors such as negligence, fatigue, distraction, over-enthusiasm, and hurry. We have to ensure that everyone gets home safe. Nobody gets hurt today or ever. We should feel proud that we are part of the Aditya Birla group family and we care for you.